Hey guys, hey, it's Latoya Montana and I'm back with another video. So today is hump day, so I want to say happy hump day. Since I'm doing vlogging every day of August, so every day is going to be the actual day. Let's hope, unless I do upload like an old video or something. But that's neither here nor there. But today we're going to talk about, um, I'm going to do a video of how I learned to manifest and my first time ever manifesting something. Hi guys, so I'm going to speak a little louder because I had to take my earphone out because those AirPods are really starting to hurt my ear. And when I'm at work at night, like my ear is really sore. So I'm going to have to buy me a speaker and play my music loud. But okay, so anyway, this happened back in 2018, 2019. Um... A lot of people was talking about um, manifesting. Oh, you can do this, you can do that. So I wanted to know more about it. And I'm one of those people, like, when I hear something I want to know more about it, I'm going to do a little research. I'm not, I probably won't go in depth with my research. Like, I probably could do better. But I'll do a little research on the topic and see if it's something I'm interested in or that I'm not interested in. So, basically what happened, I did a little research. I watched a few videos on YouTube because that's my research. <laughs> I watched a few videos on YouTube and I decided, okay, I can do this. So, the first time ever that I manifested money, um, it was about 900 I think I needed like $990 or something like that. And so I watched a few videos. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say that in this video, I didn't edit anything because I wanted to be clear and I wanted to be uncut you know, so that you could get everything that I was saying. So I'm just going to walk y'all through what I did to manifest the $990 because I actually got the exactly $990 that I needed, okay? So what I did was um, I used to light a candle back then. I would light a candle. I would sit in front of the candle. My room would be completely quiet. No TV, no radio. Um, nothing making noise at all. I would sit there. Usually I would do it in the daytime. I never done it at night. Um, so it'd just be natural light coming in. So it'd be no TVs on, uh, no lights on, just natural light coming in. And this one particular day, I knew there was a, a set goal that I wanted. And I already had money, but I wanted more money, right? So, you know, sometimes we have money, but we don't want to spend that money on that particular thing. We want to get some more money or somebody else's money, not our money. So it was one of those things. So I lit my candle. I sat in front of it. And I'm trying to think, did I have my eyes closed or... I had my eyes closed. I closed my eyes. I would clear my mind. And the way I clear my mind is I would just, you know, I'll be still. And in my head, I'll say, Lord, please clear my mind. Lord, please clear my mind. Now, hold on. Disclaimer. I'm not taking anything from anyone. Um, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe that Jesus is God's son. So just know this is not about worshiping no devil, worshiping nobody else. I believe what I believe and you can believe what you believe because those topics I don't get into with other people because I don't mind. <laughs> like we're all different. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be you because I'm going to be me. So I just want to put that out there. Just want to put that out there. So, I'd be like, Lord, please clear my mind. Lord, please clear my mind. And as I would say it, mind you, I'm saying it in my head, though. My mind would go clear. Everything would be still. Like now, like my mind is clear. Everything is still. So, that's what I say. And I won't think about 
you know, at that moment, I won't think about anything, right? Because I want my mind to be completely clear before I start to think about what it is exactly that I want. So what you're going to do is you're going to think about the way that you want to get what it is that you want to get. So I wanted $990, right? And in my mind, I'm thinking, I want to go to the ATM and get this $990. So once I cleared my mind, I went through the process. So in my mind, now that my mind is clear, I picture myself walking out of my house. I could feel the wind. I could see what I'm wearing. I could see my car in front of me. And I'm walking into my car. I'm opening the door. I'm getting in the car. I'm cutting it on. Like, I can hear the sounds. I can hear the people. I can feel the wind. I can feel the atmosphere. It's like I'm going through the motions and I'm actually there. Now, this is all in my mind, right? My eyes are closed, but I'm envisioning this happening. And I picture myself driving. I'm driving down the street, so where I have to go. Um, going to the bank that I'm going to so I can see myself driving on these streets. I know the exact route that I'm going. I know the exact bank that I'm going to or the ATM that I'm going to. And I, I get to the ATM. I vision myself putting my card in. Now, mind you, let me stop for a moment. At this time, I did not have $990 in my bank account. I think I probably had maybe $200 in my bank account. Okay. Because if you have $990 in your bank account, we know we could just go and take the $990 out. Okay. Back to the story. So, I'm at the ATM. I vision myself putting my card inside the ATM putting my number in, like I can hear the beeps when you beeping and it's putting the number in. I can see it. I can see my hand hitting my numbers, whatever your four numbers is, the enter, the checking. I can see it. I can feel it. I can feel my hand. I can hear the noises. I can see the money coming out and hear the money sound that the machine is making and once the money get in my hand I can feel the money in my hand I can smell the smell of the money I can feel it and at the same time while you're doing that like I could just right then when I was just had my eyes closed I could see it I could feel it I could smell it it's like I'm going through the motions without actually being there but mentally I'm there. So if I'm there mentally, it's like I'm there physically. If it makes sense, because it's like I can feel everything, I can hear everything, I can see everything. So it's kind of like I'm there without actually being there, right? So like I said, when I got the money, I could feel the money. I counted the money because I count my money when it come out the ATM. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't care. So I counted the money. I could feel it going through my hands. I could smell the scent of the money, right? And I went through the whole motions of me taking the money, going back home, going back in my house. But when I say that you're envisioning, you're visualizing this. I'm talking about, it's like you watching TV. It's in front of you and you're watching TV and you see exactly what's going on. That's what it was. It was seeing exactly what's going on. You know how like you're watching a scary movie. You know that the people are not in your house, but you're still screaming and yelling at the TV and you still feel that fear as if you're that person in the TV. It's kind of like that. Because you're watching yourself in motion doing these things and you're feeling every moment of it. You're feeling it. You can see it. You can taste it. Like you can even taste the air. You can taste the atmosphere. You can smell the money. You know, you can feel it in your hands. 
you're going through the emotions. And I hope this is making sense because even with me, like every time I close my eyes, I can start to vision it myself. Like I can see it. I can see it playing in my head. Now, mind you, I also play meditating music. I'll go on YouTube and I'll type in uh, meditation. You can put in med uh, meditating to manifest money. I don't like to listen to the ones with this. Oh. I thought I heard something. <laughs> but I don't like to listen to the ones where the people are talking. No, I don't need you to talk to me. <laughs> Just play the music. Just play the sounds, right? And one of them that I used to listen to back then, and I was looking for it the other day, it made like a money sound. I don't know exactly what it is, but if I can find it, I'll put the link um, at the bottom in the description box if I can find the exact one, because I was looking for it the other day, matter of fact. Matter of fact, this morning, before <laughs> I started meditating, I was looking for it. But, um, and I would say at least try to do this and meditate for at least 20 minutes. Because you got to give time to clear your mind. Like a lot of people have things going on in their mind. You know how it is. We thinking about a thousand things at one time. No, your mind needs to be completely clear. Because you don't want no interruptions when you're doing what you're doing. And make sure them children are quiet or they're in another room because you need peace. You need peace, you need quietness. Now, while you're doing this and you're meditating, you're really not going to be paying attention to what's around you because you're in the moment. You're there in your mind. If you're there in your mind, you're there. You're there. So it's just going to be like nothing else is going on around you because you're in your car. you at the ACM. <laughs> they might be in your room. They might be in the front room. But see, sis, that ain't where you at. You at the ACM and you getting this money. Or you wherever you at. Or you at your baby daddy's house getting the money from him. You getting the money from your mama. You getting it from wherever you getting it. That's where you're at. You're there mentally. And if you're there mentally, hell, you might as well be there physically because <laughs> that's where you at. So it's kind of like an out-of-body, but not an out-of-body experience because I've actually had an out-of-body experience too. And I'm going to do another separate video on that. But, so I say at least do it for 20 minutes. And when you're done with the meditating, right? When you're done with it, you're just going to stop. You're going to open your eyes. And what I always, what I was saying right then is thank you, Lord, for all the things that I do not see. I constantly say that. I constantly say that. Because it's things that's working in the spirit world that we don't see. God is working in the spirit world for us. We don't see it. We don't see the battles and the things that are coming up against us that's being stopped in these tracks before it actually comes in the physical world. We don't see that. We're not seeing it. And yes, things do come up against us, but listen, it's so many more things that want to come up against us that God don't let get past. He don't let it get past. <laughs> and we got to be grateful and be thankful for that. So, my whole thing is, I'm always thanking God. Thank you, Lord, for all the things I do not see. And any time that I feel like I want something or I need something, I say, thank you, Lord, in advance. Or I speak it, <clears throat> excuse me, I speak it as if it's so. I speak it as if I already have it. Lord, thank you for my $1,000. Lord, thank you for my rent for this month. Lord, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm so grateful that I have my car note money. I may not have it actually right now with my hand. I may not have it actually right now, you know, in my uh, in my bank account. But I'm speaking it as if I already have it. I'm speaking it as if it's already so. And if I'm speaking it as if it's so, it's going to be so. I'm going to get it. It's going to come from north, east, south, and west, as my aunt will always say. Like, yesterday, I was meditating. And after I meditated, yes, well, yesterday, the day before, where well, I've been meditating both days, all three of those days. But... After I meditated, uh, someone called me and was like, oh, well, I'm going to give you $260 to help go towards your bills. Thank you. I ain't asked for it. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. I know I meditated. I know I asked God for it. That's what I did. 
And see, that's why sometimes you have to be careful with what you say out your mouth because things that you say, it comes, it happens. So a lot of times now I try to catch myself before I say certain things. But when I get really, really upset, I just say it because in the moment I want it to happen. But that's basically how I learned to manifest. And okay, so back to the story. Sorry, y'all, because I get sidetracked real quick. So after I meditated and did all that, I actually went in the motions. I actually went to the ATM. Mind you, I said I had $200 in the ATM. I believe about $200. I walked, when I left the ATM, I had $1,000 in my hand. $1,000. Now, of course, everybody bank. You might be able to withdraw, like, overdrive, what, like, 300 if you're going to the ATM? Yeah, I think if you're going to, maybe about 300 Every bank is different. Every bank is different. Just know, if I only had $200 in there, that means another $800 came out of the ATM. Another $800 came out of the ATM. I've never been able to do that. I've been, I went to the bank and if I didn't have the money and try to, it'll say insufficient funds and won't let it go through, but it let it go through. I had to do two separate transactions and both of my transactions went through right then and right there. And I got that money. And I, listen, that was my first time ever manifesting something. So I was like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. I didn't know how that was going to go. Because you never really know until you do it. You never really know until it, it until it happens. You know, like you can say it in your mind, oh, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. But until you see it with your own eyes. So, like, now I've already seen it, so I already know. I know what it is. I already know that it's going to happen. I already know that I'm going to get it. <laughs> like, it's just a simple thing of saying, this is what I want. This is what I'm going to get. And that's how I manifested the money that I wanted, the money that I needed. Like my first time ever though, my first time ever manifesting anything. My first time ever. And to me, that was big. Like it was big because I didn't have to ask anybody for it. I didn't ask anybody. Um, it was, you know, I just didn't have to ask anybody. It was basically just given to me. I went to my bank account and I withdrew the funds. Like I said, it's never happened to me before because it will say insufficient funds. We all know that. If you don't have that money in that bank, it will say insufficient funds quick. But it let both of my transactions go through and I didn't have a problem. So I was excited about that and I hope this video helps somebody. And if you like this video, you should subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that bell because I'm going to be vlogging every day this month. And y'all help me get to a thousand subscribers because I'm having a big giveaway. Well, uh, maybe it's not big, <laughs> but whatever. It's something. Some people don't give out nothing. So, and if you want to hear more stories about um, exactly how I meditate, because I do different sometimes, you know, if I'm asking for different things, I meditate differently. Or if I'm not asking for anything at all and I'm just meditating, that's what I do. I just meditate. So I can do a story about how I meditate. But the next story time that I want to do is going to be on my first out-of-body experience when I meditated. And listen, that is a story because it was scary, but it wasn't scary, but it was neat. Like, it was so dope. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Like, I can remember it like it was yesterday. And it happened like in 2018, 2019. Like, I was real big on meditating, manifesting, and all of that back then. And like I said the other day, I got back into it because I think it was last week. It was heavy on me, so heavy on me to meditate. It was so, so heavy on me to meditate. But what happened is I let people convince me that certain things are wrong, certain things I shouldn't do. And then I had to think about it. How can it be wrong or how can it be not so if I'm able to do this without any effort or little to no effort or... See, it's bigger than this. It's really bigger than this. Because there's so many things that I can do. It's so many things that I can see. And I know it's been given to me because I'm not trying to do it. I'm not trying to do it. So, you know, it's bigger 
Oh my goodness. This <sighs> the spiritual world is so much bigger than what we think. It's so in detail. It's so more than what we're doing and what we see in the physical, where we feel like we can control everything. But that's why we can't control it because if it's already done in the physical, it's going to, I mean, if it's already done in the spiritual, it's going to happen and come to pass in the physical. We just have to f figure out how we're going to deal with it once it happens in the physical, if that makes sense. Like, I hope I'm making sense and not just rambling but it's kind of hard to explain certain things like certain things it's kind of hard to explain but i hope it's making sense because like i said it's you know things happen in the spiritual world before it actually happens in the physical world and i don't want y'all to think like oh i'm just so into all that because i'm not i'm not really you know i can't tell you why this is happening why that is happening or i study this i i, I don't do none of that i don't do none of that i just know what i know I go off what I see. I go off what I've been through. I go off what, um, how everything has happened for me. So I hope this video helps someone. And if you try to do this and you try to manifest how, how I said to manifest something. Now remember, you got to make it fit in whatever it is that you want to do. All you have to remember though is that you have to go through the motions mentally. Whatever it is that you want to do, you have to go through the motions mentally. Like, yours not going to be the same way as mine. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't live where I live. So, you're not going to drive down the streets that I drove down. You don't drive the car that I drive. So, you're not going to see my car. You're going to see your car. You know, you don't go to the bank I go to. You, you know what I'm saying? Your PIN number is not my PIN number. So, everything is going to be different. You may not have an account. You may need to get it from a different type of way. You can, in your mind, you can have it where someone is calling you offering you this money you can have it with somebody pop up at your house and give you this money or you go somewhere and somebody just give you money it happens to me like that all the time people literally give me things all the time oh, i check my account boom there goes some money it came from here it came from there i don't know i didn't know it was coming so i just want to put this on y'all hearts Put this on your mind, your spirit, your soul, so that it feels good to you. It feels good for you. And just know, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing to be afraid of. Like, it's awesome. It's dope. And we just have to live in our truth. We just got to know that we are who we are. Like, God made kings and he made queens, honey. And that's who we are. And if you want to live your best life, if you want to live the life, that you feel like you want to live and you're not living it, manifest that life. Can I tell y'all something? Listen, before I moved here, I lived in the hood. When I say the hood, I'm talking about the hood. Like, based on income, project hood. Like, not Section 8 where you can go get a house. No. Based on income, project hood. People outside shooting, fighting, kids acting the food. Y'all know them kids at the food all the time. I know because, you know, my own kids at the food. But I'm talking about, like, serious. And I had this ex-boyfriend, and we were together back in 2018. And you know what that man told me? He said, Toya, everything you told me you were going to do, you're doing it. You said you wanted to live in a luxury apartment, you're living in it. I'm living in a house now, but when I first moved down here, I lived in a luxury apartment. You said you was going to live in a luxury apartment, you living in it. You said you was going to leave Virginia, you left Virginia. He said, and you just did it. Like, you ain't put too much thought into it. You ain't put too much effort into it. He was like, you just did it. He was like, and I can respect you for that. He was like, you just dope as fuck to me for just really doing it. He was like, and I'm still in the same place where we was at, mm, excuse me, back then. That he was still in the same place. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I just can't believe you did it. Like, you just said fuck everything. You just did it. And I told him, <laughs> that's what I was going to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, when you speak things, you can write them down. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen two days from now. But I've been speaking saying I was going to move to North Carolina. Well, actually said I was going to move to Charlotte. I've been saying that for years. And when the opportunity presented itself, 
I came out here one weekend. I found me a place. And I went back home and I decided I was moving. I let my kids, my mom and everybody know, oh, I'm moving. They're like, you moving? Yeah, I'm moving. I already got my place. I already set out my lease. I'm out of here. <laughs> so if this video helped y'all anyway, like I said, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and just let me know. And also try to manifest. Like, don't be scared. Just you don't have to tell nobody what you're doing. Just do it for yourself. Just do it to yourself. And, and at the least.